एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट फॉर 27 मार्च व्हाट आर डे स्मार्ट रैली लेड बाय रिलायंस एच डी एफ सी बैंक एंड एयरटेल टूडे आई हैव इंक्लूडेड एयरटेल एज नंबर फाइव स्टॉक जस्ट लाइक आई मेंशन येस्टरडे Infosys is no longer in the top five. TCS has been sulking for a while now, reflecting the global IT sentiment, also reflecting in Nasdaq's numbers. Today, the news came in that Reliance has been upgraded by Goldman Sachs. The targets are thirty four hundred on the defensive side and forty four ninety five on the aggressive side. It's a huge upside on Reliance as per GS. Today was also perhaps a short covering rally. Tomorrow is the last expiry of the financial year, and a lot of people need to cover their positions for this year. DIs of course have a endless purse. This is all thanks to retail via mutual funds. A lot of money has been coming in regularly. I am scared for the day when retail will take the money out. What will happen then? And how long it will take for mutual funds to remit the money back to the investors if there is panic selling? FIs today are likely to be net buyers. This is reflecting in the numbers of Reliance and HDFC. They can't go up so much without the participation from institutional investors on the buy side. Gold has again started inching up. It is not getting noticed, but four out of last five days, gold has been up. Next week will be the first week for the financial year. A lot of people will want to take fresh positions for the year. so i believe there will be some sort of buying happening next week this is dependent obviously upon what happens till then if the global markets are not supportive then this will not happen we might also witness a dual rally on account of elections and result seasons both of them are kicking in soon election fever is already on there is some news on russia ukraine war coming to an end soon i don't know what's happening there but that may give a sentimental boost to the markets take note of the fact that tata technologies lock in will end on april 05 which means a lot of pre ipo investors employees initial investors who are not allowed to exit at the time of ipo they will be able to sell their stocks so a significant quantity will be available for sell usually these kind of situations lead to slight fall in the stocks momentarily i'd also bought tata technology is at pre ipo level my holding price is perhaps around 650 so i'll also be allowed eligible to exit now iida also just listed a day before tata technologies its lock in will end on april 04 just to test my bullishness i have taken a small options trade after a long time i have mentioned in previous videos that i have given up fno this time is a slight different i have sold options this time earlier i used to buy for next week's expiry just to test my bullishness i'll keep you posted on how this trade went it is just two lots the likely upside is around 10% if this trade succeeds bitcoin is back to its rallying ways last 5 days bitcoin has been up i am working on a new set of graphs again this is automated the idea of showing this graph is look at the spikes in bitcoin right from minus 8% to nearly 10% this is a graph for last one month it really requires a strong heart to trade in bitcoin owing to low consumer confidence us stocks and indices were battered yesterday today's forecast is slightly brighter than markets have not opened yet us dollar has been strengthening slowly and steadily this is contrary to the general feeling for last 4 5 year where people have been saying dollar will eventually weaken weaken against what bitcoin was a contender but again china and india don't encourage bitcoin so probably it will never replace usd as a reserve currency so we can against what remains the question japanese yen is perhaps the most confused currency in the world while the markets are nearly at all time highs but yen is clueless around 150 per dollar it is really really weakening against the dollar hope you are liking the new format and the new updated format i am working on new graphs the forecast will get updated soon please stay tuned thanks for watching